I want to make a quick video on how you can connect cal.com to your NAN workflow. It's pretty simple to do, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have this NAN workflow set up right here. It's a very basic workflow with just a execute trigger button. And we're going to go ahead and actually enter in a new node here. So we're going to click the plus button and we're going to search for cal.com like so. And then I'm just going to select the on booking created trigger. So this is going to trigger whenever someone creates a booking through cal.com. And the way we can set this up is by going to the credential to come up with. We're going to select the drop down and then click on where it says create new credential. And from here, we're going to need to enter in our API key. Now, to access your API key, you're going to need to log into your cal.com account. And then inside your cal.com dashboard, you want to go to the top left where you see your profile. Click on that and then click on where it says my settings. Under your settings, we're going to go to the left hand side, scroll down and find where it says API keys under the developer section here. And then we're going to actually just go ahead and create a new API key. So we're going to click the add button and we can name this key whatever we want. I'm just going to name this YouTube tutorial and you can just set this to expire at a certain date. We're just going to leave this to never expires and then click on where it says save. Next, you'll want to copy this API key in the copy button head it back over to NAN and then paste that key under the API key input here. We're gonna leave the host alone and then click on where it says save. If everything worked correctly, we should see the green box that says the connection was tested successfully. So we can actually go ahead and close out of this. And because this is actually a trigger node, I'm just gonna go ahead and actually delete this other trigger node here we have and just leave this one. Then I'm gonna click on where it says execute workflow. And then it's gonna tell us that it's waiting for us to create an event in cal.com. So I'm going to head back to cal.com, click the back button, and I'm going to go to the bottom left and click on where it says view public page. And I'm going to go ahead and actually schedule a meeting here. So let's just go ahead, set a meeting for the 29th at 445. I'm going to click on where it says confirm. It should show them that the meeting has been scheduled. And if we head back over to our NAN workflow, we can now see that this has a green check mark with one item. And we can go ahead and see the output created here, which was the booking created trigger. And we can see that it was a 15 minute meeting that I scheduled. And we can also see all the other meeting information in this giant JSON file right here, which we can go ahead and use in the rest of our end workflow. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below, or you can head over to my NAN automation community in the description down below. But that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.